everyone, Suzanne here. Welcome back to my Tomb Raider 4 The Last Revelation playthrough. Today we're playing through the level Desert Railroad. I absolutely love this level. It's super, super short, but I really, really enjoy it. And I'm putting it in its own video because... I feel like it's such a different level that it didn't really make sense to like put it with anything else. So just a quick recap on the story. So Lara entered the tomb of Semerket to find out this really important information about the ritual we need to perform. Von Croy stole the amulet of Horus from its receptacle and trapped Lara inside the tomb of Semerket. We managed to make our way through the tomb. We found out the information that we needed to know, that this ritual needs to be performed in the Temple of Horus beneath the Great Pyramid. And it also needs to be performed before the millennium, so before New Year, basically. No pressure. <laughs> We then made our way out of the tomb of Semerket, tricking the guardian of Semerket into helping us escape. And we bumped into Ahmed, who told us that Von Croy was on his way to Alexandria, which is where the armor of Horus is located, so we need to go there anyway. Lara stole Ahmed's clothes and snuck onto the train. Ahmed then unfortunately met a gruesome death by the hands of Set but we're not that sad, are we? So I was researching this level for the longest time, trying to get straight in my head what exactly is happening in the level. And I found it really difficult actually to find a straight answer on what exactly is going on in this level. But this is my understanding of it. So Lara has snuck on this train heading to Alexandria after seeing Von Croy take off in his helicopter also going to Alexandria. So my understanding is that Von Croy has headed to Alexandria in his helicopter and all of his men and crew, or at least a good chunk of them, have taken this train to Alexandria and they're presumably going to meet up with Von Croy and his other men there. So that's why Lara says, your workforce is about to be delayed when she gets onto the train. So I think for this train ride, we are fighting Von Croy's men that were already on the train riding to Alexandria. And I guess I will tell you my theories on what's happening as we play the level then. So yeah, I'm super excited. So let's just get into it. Wow. It's just so cool. I love it so much. It's beautiful music and the moving train mechanic, like the idea of a level taking place on a moving train was just so cool in 1999. Like it was awesome. So yeah, I'm excited to play this. So exciting. Okay, so let's get started. Um, can you, can you push the switch, please? Okay, look how awesome this is. So we have to drum, drum, jump along the train cars and everything. It's really cool. And uh, I guess I should show what happens if you fall because it's kind of horrifying. It is a horrifying death, but it's also just a tiny bit hilarious okay let's do it it's so like horrifying and unexpected but also like a tiny bit funny i don't know why i'm sorry <laughs> okay and actually before we do anything i realized that in the last level i didn't check my secret stats so after guardian of semerket we should have 40 out of 70 secrets which we do so Yay. And there's only three secrets in this level, which should give us 43 by the end. Oh, the little toot toot as well. I love it. Love it so much. Um, the only thing I don't love about this level is, of course, the ninjas. But you know what? We'll, we'll put up with it. So, crouch down. Okay. 
What? Just keep getting stuck on doors, really. Oh, God. Um, why did I panic and go the complete wrong way? I don't know. They're so annoying. Take that. Ooh, okay. Um, I honestly couldn't be bothered to change my gun, so... Oh, she doesn't crouch with that one. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> a couple of people have commented um, under my videos and said that I can sometimes be very wasteful with supplies. I know. I completely agree and I apologize. I just, honestly, it's my laziness a lot of the time where I just couldn't be bothered to switch guns and stuff like that. So yeah, I know I'm extremely wasteful. <laughs> but you know what? It's funny as well because then I get myself into situations and stuff where I run out of things. So it makes it a bit more interesting maybe. So yeah. We have jeeps now depositing more of Von Croy's men onto the train. So I have a theory about this now and I will stop pointing at him. I will let you know about my theory in a second when I've killed these. There we go. So this is my theory for why jeeps of Von Croy's men start arriving. So it's 1999, okay? What I think happened is that the men, the Von Croy's men that were already on the train realized, oh crap, Lara Croft has snuck onto this train and now she's like massacring everyone. We should let Von Croy know. So they took out their blockier phones, right? And they were like, beep, 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 beep. Von Croy, Lara Croft is on here. We need some help. And then he decided to send his jeeps um, of men to try and get on the train and take Lara out. So there you go. That's my theory. This is all happening because of Blockias. And if you're too young to understand Blockia, basically it was a Nokia phone. Um, but they used to be so large, like you could literally knock someone unconscious with them if you wanted to. So they used to be so large that everyone would just call them blockias for fun. Um, so yeah, that's my theory. <laughs> I had fun with that. <laughs> Honestly, feel like today I've just gone a little bit insane, but you know what, it's fine. Absolutely fine. Right, and hey, check out the scenery as well. I know it's kind of like repetitive, but it's still cool. Okay, so I know there's more ninjas. Yeah, come on then. Gotcha. What, what is with this camera angle? Why is he just messing around over there? Right, so I think, do I drop down? Which one do I drop down? I'm gonna try this one first. We'll see if this is the right one. Um, or do they? No. No, I think I dropped into the wrong one. Hang on. Let me go back here. Do I... Oh. I suppose I need to crouch, so I really should change guns. It's just annoying, you know?
Very annoying. Oh, hang on. There's something here. Oh! That was so creepy. Okay. I don't think there's anything else. But that's an interesting question now that I do want to ask. What was your first mobile phone? So I'll go first. My first one was a black and white. Oh yes, wasn't in color. Uh, it was a very small black and white. I believe it was Siemens phone. Um, so yeah, that was, that was my first mobile phone. And I was so excited and happy to get it mainly honestly to play snake <laughs> let's just be real it, it it was the excitement to play snake what a game so yes i'm very interested to know um what your first mobile phones were or cell phones uh i should say as well in case anyone's like what the hell yeah mobile phone or your cell phone okay and so now this is Von Croy. This is Von Croy in his helicopter. So that's why I think someone must have texted him or something. Because now he's come back in his helicopter and he's like, you know, screw you, Lara Croft. Yeah, take that. Here's more of my men. So, yeah. Again, I just feel like he's a little bit too obsessed with Lara. Like, why doesn't he just go and do his own thing and mind his own business? Very weird. Seriously, you're standing on the edge of a train. Do you really think that stick is going to save you? Point proven. Oh, you can see him on the ground as well. Right. Let's get a secret. This level is just, it's pure fun really, isn't it? I'm really glad that they added this into the game. But yeah, then after my first kind of black and white starter phone for my teenage years, I always had some variation of a pink flip phone. Oh yes, they were, <laughs> they were the business, absolutely. So yeah, I mean, I still have, well, I have an iPhone now, um, a really old one, iPhone 7 but I do have a pink case on it. But when I was a teenager, I was like, it must be a flip phone and it must be pink. <sighs> I had my priorities. I had my priorities. Okay, so now we've picked up the crowbar, which we obviously can't use on that side. How embarrassing. Hang on. Lara, would you ca calm down? The controls just decided to go a bit haywire there. But yes, we have the crowbar now, which we can now use um, to like flip switches and stuff. So super handy. So now we've opened that. Ooh! For God's sake. Take that. Um, oh, hang on. Did I miss something? <gasps> oh, I missed uh, shotgun things. Hang on. Let me put on a flare because it's actually quite dark in here and I can't see. Okay. I got everything. 
Okay, so now that we have the crowbar, we're just gonna make our way back to the front of the train in order to... Can I jump from here? We'll see. In order to flip a switch that we needed to flip, really. <gasps> Die! And now we go down. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, now we go down here to get a secret. The grenade launcher! Finally! Okay, now I'm excited. It's the grenade launcher and some grenades. So we can start blowing stuff up. I'm very happy. Okay, oh for God's sake. Ah! Whoa! Get lost. Yeah. Uh, where'd the other guy go? Did he fall? <gasps> well, I guess I joined him. But seriously, did that ninja fall? Uh, see? He just, he just disappeared there. Oh my god, he fell. That's so funny. Was he supposed to do that? I mean, I assume so because it happened twice. I guess even mercenaries aren't perfect. Bye bye. Okay, and then I think, do I go in here? Uh, no. I don't think so. Did I just climb through <laughs> solid metal? That makes sense. Ooh. Oh God. <gasps> Ah. Die. So now we've just made our way back to the carriage at the very start that we began in and we'll just get the final secret now. So yeah, it's a really, really short level but really, really fun. There's just a medipack and a small one as well. That's pretty crap, isn't it? 
All right, so we have made our way back now to the starting carriage. So basically what we're gonna do now is use the crowbar to pull this switch and it's going to detach um, the other carriages of the train, which means that like all the rest of Von Croy's men kind of just by you're being left in the middle of the desert basically and then we can ride in this car in peace all the way to alexandria so let's just double check that we have all our secrets before we do that so we should yep have 43 out of 70 so we have them all so that's great and now let's just detach the rest of the cars there they go <laughs> such a clever idea if you think about it. I mean, it really just gets rid of the problem, doesn't it? And now us and, well, I mean, presumably the driver can just ride in peace all the way to Alexandria, which is really nice. I had so much fun playing that level. I'm sure this video is going to be extremely short, but also hopefully extremely sweet. <laughs> so in the next video, we're going to be back to putting some levels together. So I'm going to put the first visit to Alexandria, plus the first visit to Coastal Ruins, I think it's called. Yeah, Coastal coastal Ruins um, into one video. And then in the video after that, we're going to be exploring the catacombs. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. I feel like the next few videos might be kind of short as I just kind of piece together bits of levels but it'll be fun anyway and the shorter the videos are that means the more that I can actually get out during a week as well which is a good thing. Thank you so so much for watching. As always if you enjoyed it I would really really appreciate if you would hit that subscribe button and help me get to a thousand. That would mean so much to me and I will see you in the next video.